In this video, Working Woman, I will examine some scarf style that would have been familiar sights in the workplace during 1930s, 40s and beyond. But first, let's talk a little bit about the popularization of the headscarf in this period. In the early 21st century, as a female anticipation gathered place, more women entered the workforce and gained the right to vote. As a practical garment, the headscarf was taken up as a hair covering in factories and other places employing female labor. Let's not forget that at this time the issue of health and safety was largely the concern of the individual and not the employer or state. During the World War II, women had to adapt their beauty regimes as cosmetics became scarce or unobtainable. Despite all the privations, women became experts as improvisations, as it was considered important for moral than dignity, femininity and the degree of self-expression be maintained. The illustration shows a young Princess Elizabeth training to become a motor mechanic. The ladies are wearing different blouses, so I think she has yet to qualify for the auxiliary territorial service uniform. This is a still picture from the 1943rd film Millions Like Us, a patriotic story concerning a group of women helping the British war effort on the home front by going to work in a factory making parts for aircraft. Anne Crawford, who played the part of Jennifer, an upper-middle-class girl, initially looks a little out of place in the work environment. An interesting fact, the design of her scarf is Happy Landing by Jacques Marc. This scarf were not cheap cost 55 shillings for a decimal currency. Today the value would be closer to 300 pounds sterling, almost a price for a Carré Hermès. I believe Jennifer also wore a scarf called London Wall, though I am unable to confirm this. I think the theme of the film we are all in this together, resonates well today. And now let's tie our scarf. This is the picture that inspired me to make this tutorial. For the first style, you will need a cotton scarf 30 by 30 inches. Make a triangle from your scarf. Cover your head, like this. Make a double knot. Shift the scarf backwards. Hide the ends and make two wings on the top. By the way, if you like scarves, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications. My friend told me that her mom used to tie her scarf exactly like this. Apparently her dad would say to her, where are you going today, butterfly? Take the corners of your scarf like this. Tie the knot on the top. Take two other corners, twist a row like this. Cover the first knot. Tie the ends under your hair. Form a band. By the way, if you like vintage scarves, I will leave a few links to some lovely scarves on Etsy. People would refer to this style as a snood.
For the next style, take the corners of your scarf, slip them beneath the back hair and make a knot on the top. Now, twist this part of your scarf a few times, make a knot, By the way, I've got another video on Hollywood style turbans from the 1940s. It is very helpful and I will link this video at the end and in the description. This style leaves and cart a part of your hair. This look very unusual. I'd like to thank my dear friends for their help, support and ideas in preparation of this video. Thank you! If you want to know more on headscarf from this period, you can watch these videos too to learn how to tie a turban Hollywood style. If you like scarf, subscribe, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below what kind of video tutorial you would like to see. I hope to see you soon. Bye!